Hey friends, myself Rakesh and I welcome you to Expo Hub Automation Wall Channel. Today our topic is the locals panel in UiPath. So in my background, you can see I have kept it open the locals panel in the debug mode and what this local panel is all about and how you can utilize it we are going to learn in this video. And thanks for watching this video and if you liked this video make sure to subscribe for more such videos because we bring unique content for you and for you to become a UiPath developer. Right so with that let's get started and understand what's a local panel. Okay so first thing let me tell you the locals panel will only appear while you are in the debug mode and you are running it so that's where the local panel will be visible let's say if i stop this so there is a small workflow in my background and the moment i stop it you will see the local panel will disappear right so that appears only when you are debugging it okay that's point number one so what i am doing to to demonstrate the usage of local panel i am taking a simple three assign activities and trying to show a message box and this is a variable type is integer right so i'm taking 100 as my value and then i'm trying num plus 10 that is 110 120 so finally the output would be 120 so i'm taking a very simple example just to ensure you understand the local panel use right when it has to be used what is the benefit of using local panel so let's see that so first of all the local panel will have four to five different things okay let me tell you the first one is going to show execution exceptions okay one is it's going to show you different kind of exceptions the other one is going to show you arguments if, if you have declared any arguments if you have declared any kind of variables it's going to show these items and the fourth thing that it's going to show uh, the property of previously run activity okay it will show the property of previously run activity and the similar one will show the property of current activity so these are the five different uh, elements that you are going to find in a local panel so let's have a check so create a simple workflow if you are in front of your laptop and try to create a simple workflow just like this take an assign activity declare a variable give a value and i'm just doing num plus 10 num plus 10 so every time it's going to increase by 10 okay so once you have this what i'm going to do here in the assign activity i'm applying a breakpoint so highlight the activity and applying a breakpoint and let me run this in the debug mode okay so the moment i start the debug mode what is happening let's have a check so what would happen the local panel has arrived as i said it only arrives during your debug mode so the local panel has come okay now at this point because i have applied a breakpoint it's going to pause so it has paused because i want to see the local panel right so i'm simply applying a breakpoint and the project has paused at this moment so what i'm finding here the first value you can see as i said there are four different things right so because there is no exception the exception panel is not shown but arguments variables property of the current activity right assign activity so property of the previous activity and the property of the current activity all of this are being shown right so the benefit of a local panel is that you can change the value of a variable change the value of a variable or an argument during the execution so let's say i want to uh, so current the num value right before executing this year it has paused and at this point the numeric the num value is 110 100 110 so now 110 plus 10 will become 120 and that will get printed correct so what i am going to do instead of 110 i am going to click on this edit button and i am going to make this to zero so if i make it to zero what would happen zero plus 10 the output should become 10 so that is the benefit that you can go ahead and change your variable value or argument values so let me hit on continue okay so now you can see it has shown the value as 10 so that is the benefit anytime in your project wants you to check certain things during the execution 
so you can have an option in the local panels to do it so that is one of the great benefit of local panel another thing i i, I need to cover is the execution exception if there is an exception how the exception is captured now for the exception what i'm going to do let me delete this and let me use uh, uh, assign activity and let me click on control plus k and i am going to create a numeric array okay and go to the variable panel here i am going to select array of t and going to select integer fine so now what i am going to do here i am going to enter a couple of numbers let's say i'll use a double quote and in the double quote i want to mention let's say 10 comma 20 comma 30 so there are three different values that i have that i have put inside this array okay if i take a message box now let me take a message box okay and here if i say num array so the index starts from 0 1 2 right so if i say 3 or 4 or 5 if i say so what would happen dot to string num array dot to string so what is the problem here um, end of expression expression expected let me see that okay so let me write it again so i'm saying num array in bracket i should say 5 and dot to string so i think i typed mistyped something okay so num array dot to string okay so this is what i'm typing so now there is no validation error okay there is no validation error. everything is fine but there would be an exception out of range exception would come because i am mentioning show me the index number 5 what data is there so there is no data in so there is there is only 0 1 2 only up to 2 index but i am mentioning here 5 or 3 so if i mention anything out of range it will throw me an exception so let's see that how the local panel is going to show that exception okay so now it's running the moment it reaches the message box okay now you can see this has thrown an, an exception right so that exception also can be found in the local panel okay so in entire out of range exception getting it so this is what the use of your local panel so the local panels is going to give you five different data execution exceptions argument values you can see all different arguments that you have declared you, you can see all different variables that you have declared in your project you can see the property of the previous run activity what was the previously run activity if you see it here the pre previously run activity is what assign activity right the same property of assign okay so and then the current the current is message box you can see property of message box so this is what the use of a local panel okay i know you would be also interested to watch uh, to understand the watch in immediate i am going to come up with a small video on that one as well if you are liking this video thanks for watching and please do like the video and make sure to subscribe for more because such contents you may not find in all the channels right so please do subscribe please do get up to date with uipath knowledge and very minute to minute minor things we are we are going to bring on our channel which is going to enhance your knowledge for sure okay if a question is asked and if you know that people will definitely know you are a person who knows in depth of uipath so please do subscribe do not forget please do subscribe and please do like the video thank you for watching you guys have a wonderful day bye bye